Hey yo, what's cracking YouTube? It's your boy Zach from Good Game Nation here. We just chilling, bringing a deck profile to y'all. Something a little light, nothing too crazy. It's not like tier one, it's not broken. I like it, it's fun. And it's 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 D Brigade, man. It's it's fun. So we're gonna go ahead shout out to the dudes my boys this is my team right there i'm gonna go ahead and get right into it we only play four eggs this format because that consistency is is king and you know shout out to that young patrick uchia uh for the eggs we play the four problem ones uh on deletion reveal the top card of your deck if it's a black digimon add it to your hand it's just another way to cycle things mm. And again, like consistency is key. And in a deck that spits out a bunch of bodies like this does, you're going to want to go ahead and just have like more consistent ways to draw through everything you want. So that's it for the eggs. Uh, everybody wants to gain memory this format. So we play the two mons because they can't gain memory. So you just kind of like, you don't really want to digivolve on top of your, your egg with this guy because you don't want to swing you know I, like the pro is your opponent has to deal with it but they don't matter too much only in specific matchups where it's really key like the blue matchup which is arguably your worst matchup so the two true mon and then we play the main commander mon this is the one that uh, on deletion Look at the top three cards of the deck and summon a commander mon from among them. So as you would assume, we play a lot of commander mons. I think we play 16. Now this is the main one you want to get though. He's uh he's 1k. So literally anybody you run into, he's dead. It's just a little unfortunate with this meta being really tamer heavy. He doesn't die as often as you want him to die. So we play four of this one, four of the vanilla, a little two drop. Uh, sometimes it comes in clutch to choke your opponent from at, from one memory on your side to one memory on their side, just to kind of give yourself a little bit more tempo of the game. Uh, again, he's a target to hit off of this. He's 3k, which actually beats over some of the hybrid stuff in the game, which is kind of important. Uh, then we play the blocker. Uh, blockers are still relative for like the red matchups. Unfortunately, this blocker doesn't help you in the red matchup because he's too weak. He's only 2k power. Mm. But sometimes being able to like set this up over your egg, block, die, check the top card, add it to your hand, and then draw for your turn. Um, that's not bad. This also counts as a D Brigade off of a card I'll show, I'll get to later. It's a way to help like finish your games and stuff. So we play for him, and then the last one we play is the little beater. The 5k little beefy boy. The four drop commander one. Uh he is probably the best target to hit. And he's also one of my favorite ones to digivolve into because 5k is gonna live for a while, so you're gonna get a lot of value over this guy. At least two turns worth. And then when he dies, you check the top card of your deck. So you enable the filtering. So it's currently 16 D Brigades. Uh, we're also playing for Seals Dramon. Uh, we opted for this over the Mechanorimon because it's a D Brigade. Uh, Mechanorimon is the better card, but because it's a D Brigade, that's what's important. Uh, just another your avid blocker when attacking lose to memory. Uh, he's 6k. That comes up. Uh, in the matchups where they can't kill, they blow up 5k or less, like the Dressmon matchup. Um, this doesn't help you into any Agubon. There's like some red, yellow Agubons going around. Uh, so keep that in mind. So that is 20 D Brigades, and the D Brigade boss monster is the Dark Dramon. Uh, so that brings us up to 24 total D Brigades in the deck, which is. One card shy of half of our deck total. 
this guy says on play, right, so he's a 13 cost for one, 11k DP, so he loses to uh, almost every other level 6 in the game, but at least he beats over everything else. Um, he's kind of your finisher. You summon him, and on play, you can up return up to 5 D Brigades from your trash to the top of your deck in any order that you want. Um, and he has Rush. So Rush is uh, Haste, which is no summoning sickness for those who don't know. So when you play this, you top three, swing, and you're good to go. Um, this does gain memory, though. So if the, your opponent has like a memory blocker, like the Chumon that we went over earlier, or the color's respective Chumon, this is a terrible play because you're just going to play for 13 and you don't gain any memory back. <clears throat> so that's all the D Brigade stuff that we play in the deck. And we wanted, with the release of BT7, we had another engine that gives us a little more speed, a little more power, and a little bit more uh, stickiness. Um, it is the... Uh, Four Deadly Axe, the Four Skull Knight, and the Four Dark Knight. Uh, I'll go ahead and explain what all of them do, but basically it's it's a, it's a combo chain. So this guy is the guy you want to be swinging. He's eventually the guy who deals the damage. Uh, his base is 7k, he's a 7 drop. On play, you can, from your trash or hand, uh, attach a Skull, Skull Knight or a Deadly Axe, and or, so you can get both underneath him and then they all have effects this one says it gets security plus one this one gives plus two plus 2k power so he becomes 9k security plus one um that's for seven and then when he's deleted you can play and or one skull knight one deadly axe from your trash in rest mode on the board um that part is really key so he's the guy who does the swing in the Skull Nightmon is your your attacker. Like this is who what you're attacking with. So you you want a Digivolve for two, you know, to choke your opponent or whatever. Have this guy on the board swing, and then his win attacking effect. You take this and put this Digimon that you have on the board underneath him as a source to Digivolve into this guy from your hand for free. So that's how you get your stack. Um, he is relatively weak, though. Like, there are 3Ks. They're very weak. Um, there are 4 costs, which is important to note for later. Uh, and he can do it with any. It's just he trashes the sources from underneath it as well. And then the 4 Deadly Axe is on play. Reveal the top 5. And add up to 2 uh, Night Mons. So, like, the Skull Knight, the Dark Knight, you add those to your hand, uh, and that's it. So, like, you know, we'll get to the combo later, but essentially is when this guy dies, you summon these two, and then the next turn you attack, and you go into the guy again. And it's just constant pressure. Uh, that's it for all the Digimon. Uh, we play three Tamers in the deck. Uh, Izzy. Izzy is our your generic memory setter, you know. Uh, at the beginning of your turn, put yourself to three memory if you're not at three or more than three. Uh, his effect uh, on play, reveal the top three cards of your deck. If they're all black, gain a memory and then return them back to the top of your deck in any order. Uh, every card in the deck is black, so that will always trigger, so Izzy will always cost you three, um, which is pretty good. The spell cards, well, options. Uh, two Iron Fists. This is the removal for like the big guys. Uh, the stuff we have issues with. People who go tall, like the the Agubons, <clears throat> if they live. But hopefully you check it out of security. It does the same thing, kill the guy. Uh, people who live on Seraphimons, like the purple yellow players, this kills the Seraphimons. Yeah, they'll recover, but they have no board state after that, so it doesn't really matter. Um, we also play three 
the of the Jewelt Schwarmer, the Schwarmies. Okay, uh, this is your board wipe. This kills everything seven or less, uh, including your stuff, which is cool. You can trigger off your own effects um, to get more value and things like that while still clearing your opponent's board. Um, security effect that adds to hand. I don't know if I mentioned it, but in security, this effect activates, so you just blow the guy up. And then the last four cards of the deck, we're playing Pride Memory Boost. So this is probably one of the best cards in the deck. Because for four mana, it looks at the top three cards of your deck and plays a, a four cost, which is your Deadly Axes, your Skulls, uh, your Commandramons. It plays a lot of your deck. And then this chills on your board, and then the following turn you can pop it off if you want, or later on down the road and gain yourself two memory. Um, essentially being a two cost that summons a four drop is pretty good. Um, the other cards go to your trash, so it filters three cards as well. Uh, that's it for the actual list itself. I guess the pros and the cons, if I would have to say so is you're sticky like you're you're very sticky and you're really good into decks that are slow to set up because you have your deadly axe mons you set up your board most people go sec like they want you to go second so going second in this deck is fine because you get four memory it's a lot easier than what people think your worst matchup by far is blue because none of you you don't have any sources you don't ever keep sources on your guys you have to hard play most of the time and then so they're going to just stun you over and over with tommy and cory kakamon and all that stuff yeah uh, hopefully you're able to just get a solid you know it's not an unwinnable matchup you have to get your your dark knight out early and kind of get four damage in within the first couple turns and then uh the game's actually winnable <laughs> Outside of that, it's almost impossible to beat that deck. Uh, decks that have board wipes or decks that have a high uh, amount of removal give you a little bit of a struggle, but you can play around it um, by just not being greedy. You know, like, don't... Just because you can have 14 guys on the board doesn't mean you should have 14 guys on the board. Uh, just little by little, chip away, chip away, chip away. And the goal of the deck is to just be sticky. Like I'm, you know, the the goal is to swing with this commander bond, right? And he's gonna die, but he's gonna summon something else. So now I've effectively done a damage, and then summon another guy to replace him. So now I, you have something else to worry about. And the following turn, I can like bring up my rookie, and now there's two two damaging threats, etc., uh, etc. Cetera, et cetera. The Dark Knight, when he dies, summoning two guys to either swing for two checks to end the game or swing triggering to go into another guy um that's also very good I, I would say the deck is rogue tier two at best probably i don't think i could put it uh, any higher but if you're a good pilot and you want to have fun you can definitely take this this deck uh to your locals probably have a good time i you could maybe, maybe you can top like, you know, a, a cup or something like that with this, but I wouldn't go into an event expecting to dominate like a major regional or something with this deck. So for that reason, it's a, it's tier two in my eyes, uh, but I love it nonetheless. Black's one of my favorite colors. Um, if you guys don't know, like I topped the, the PPG thing back in November of when the sets first released back in BT1. Uh, I topped with Black Blockers. It was the first event. It was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's the deck. You know, uh, be on the lookout for my list. I'm playing purple uh, for the cup of this upcoming weekend. We'll go ahead and have a video next Tuesday after the event. I'll go over my matchups, over my uh, my win losses hopefully we come back with the dub we'll see how it goes uh but i'm excited to share that deck list with you guys we've been working on it for weeks um a lot of inspiration 
it, it's definitely going to be a blast. Hopefully you guys stick around for that one. And uh, other than that, you know, make sure you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe, you know. Shout out to the dudes. Shout out to the nation. Everybody, man, enjoy. Take it easy.